Hi, boys and girls. This story is called Share and Take Turns. I like the way the word share has a shh sound at the beginning of it. Hmm. I see that these two are definitely sharing the swing, taking turns. Awesome. Well, this story is written by Sherry Meniers, and it's illustrated by Meredith Johnson. Oh, there's our heart again to show it's a caring story. It's fun to play and imagine. Hmm. So right now, there looks like they're playing and sharing and taking turns with things. Awesome. Sometimes when I play, I want what other people have. Or they want what I have. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to say. What do you think they might be going to say? I wonder if they want to turn. I know a way we can get along. We can share. One way to share is to divide things. So if I have a pile of Play-Doh and you come to the table and want to share the Play-Doh, then I have to cut the pile of Play-Doh in half. And that way we divide it, half for me and half for you. So then that way we both get to play with the Play-Doh. Cool. Another way to share is to use things together. Playing together can be more fun than playing alone. So looks like they're sharing and taking turns with the ball so that they all get a turn with it. Trading is also a way to share. My friend can use what I have while I use what she had. So I see that they traded. They traded the book for the robot toy and they'll switch back when they're done. So trading is a good way to share. Hmm. Taking turns is a way of sharing too. When we can't use something at the same time, I can wait for my turn. So I can see that someone is getting ready to climb up the ladder so that she can have her turn of sliding down the slide and I can see the other little boy is perhaps waiting for a turn at the water table. I can also share things that I know. So if I have information up in my brain and I tell somebody else, then I'm sharing that information. That's kind of like what we do in social studies and science. And I can share special things about me like things that I make and do. It looks like she's sharing her artwork on the fridge. When I help someone, I share my time. Nice. She's helping set the table, which means she's sharing her time. I might offer to share or another person might offer to share. Hmm. So... I might offer to share my hat, and then they might offer to share their hats. So it looks like a lot of sharing is going on with hats there. Sometimes I ask a friend to share. I'm glad when someone shares with me. Asking, hey, can I share that seat with you? If the person says no, hmm, I can do something else. I'm really proud of her. She didn't get angry or mad about it. She just went and found another chair, so she solved her own problem. What a good, good job. Smart way to take care of it. <sighs> it's not always easy to share. I might have something that's special to me. 
I might not want to share it. Or I may not feel ready to share. Do you see what she's not ready to share? I think that little boy is asking for a tune of her ukulele. She's just not ready to share it yet. Maybe it's still new. Maybe she got it as a gift from someone special. And so she really wants to keep it precious. We have to respect that. That's okay. I can choose not to share. Or I can offer to share it later. Or share something else. I see now she's sharing her tambourine instead so that he's not being left out. Sometimes I decide to share, even though it's hard for me. When I share or take turns, I am being generous. Can you think about a time when you were generous, when you shared something with somebody and you didn't have anything while they were sharing it? It's hard work to be generous. I'm learning to make good choices. I'm learning to think about others. Nice. Taking turns and sharing. Having a tea party. No matter where I am or who I am with, there are special ways that I can share. What is she sharing now? Yep, if you said the umbrella, you're totally right. Very kind of her to be sharing right now. That way this little boy doesn't going to get so wet. That's very nice of her. Thanks. So, today we're going to look at things that you like to share and then something that's just precious to you that you don't want to share. And that's okay but we can certainly be nice about it. Using nice words and kind words help others to use nice words and kind words to us. All right, boys and girls, have a great day and I'll share another story later. Bye.